Right. Hi there, Stephen Christopher Christo with Undaunted Air Shows. I fly the RV7, the red RV7 side by side. It's a 390, 210 horsepower Lycoming four cylinder. Fuel's located in the inboard section of each wing, 21 gallons a piece. Uh, in the air show environment, we're going to be much closer to 15 gallons. We also carry smoke oil. Uh, in this aircraft, it's located in the baggage compartment. As you can see right back through the back window. In the event that there's a rescue involvement, uh, the canopy is a tip over and it has a two latch system, a primary latch which is engaged on the outside. It's a pinch pull open. There's a tab to disengage. Up underneath, you'll see a secondary latch which will normally be engaged in a vertical cross and can only be disengaged from the inside. So if I'm able to, absolutely want to have uh, me disengage it. Otherwise, you'll have to break into the canopy. A sawzall or a rescue axe anywhere, either in a corner. Sawzall, really good on the, on the bias. Reach up and under to disengage that. Or from the opposite side, if you have to, and just uh, cut and peel away the canopy. Um, assuming that that latch is disengaged, the canopy just comes straight up. Here's the engagement of that latch. So if the plane's on fire, make sure that you shoot the foam in the intakes. That'll smother the fire. Also look up underneath and you can come back and shoot through the exhaust. Otherwise, don't hesitate to foam the entire airplane. Okay, so once the canopy's open, if they're not already shut down, the master switch is in the upper left corner and mags are right below it. The fuel selector valve has a pull to disengage the detent and turn to off. All right, so traditional throttle and mixture and prop arrangement with the addition of a purge valve. And when this purge valve is pulled, fuel is completely cut off at the spider, no fuel to the engine. And also with the red one too, you can kill the fuel, correct? Yeah, that's a, 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 a cutoff, although there'll still be a dribble of fuel. This is a positive 100% cutoff, actually returns fuel. Seatbelt is a traditional five-point harness with a lift to separate. And belt will separate out, grab by the top of the chute, and extract the pilot. All right, and if you find the aircraft upside down, likely don't need to wait for a crane. It's a light aircraft, a couple of guys can manhandle it. You want to get it upright enough to be able to break the canopy and extract the pilot. This is a structural roll bar, so it will provide significant protection. Otherwise, lift it up and make sure you don't uh, drop me on my head when you uh, pop the belts.